Hey, what is going on guys? Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today, before we talk about this particular device, I want to let you guys know that I recently bought a brand new Panasonic HCWX F1 camcorder. It came out to the market about three weeks ago, so I went ahead and pre-ordered it on Amazon and I got it yesterday. So I'm just trying it out because of the fact that, well, my GH5 is an amazing camera. Don't take me wrong, guys. This is one of the best right now in the market. But the problem with it is that when you are recording something like this, type of scenario that I have here which is on my desk and I need constant focus well the GH5 is a little bit weak on that part and for that reason I decided to get this camcorder just to do the recordings inside and then my GH5 is going to be the one mainly for the cuts and to record outside as I think that it does a much better job outside than indoors so anyways uh, here we got the Oppo F7 this came directly from eBay I went ahead and pre-ordered it directly from India and by the way this is not a Chinese device it is made in India and also design in India so this is very interesting I never really owned an Indian phone before and let me tell you guys I am super impressed with this particular device because of the fact that well they have now created the screen to where it is I think a little bit above 90% screen to body ratio so we have almost all screen phone on the front side just like you see on the thumbnail so it is a very good looking device and it comes with a 25 megapixel front-facing camera with AI technology which is able to know what kind of objects are around you and it's able to give you that perfect um, picture without having to tweak it a lot. So we have seen this technology a lot but for the rear facing camera and not the front facing camera. So this is mainly a selfie phone I would say because of the fact that again we have such a big camera on the front side. We got 64 gigabytes of internal memory and 4 gigabytes of RAM. Now the RAM is not really that impressive but it still does very well even with 4. And keep in mind guys that with this device you can upgrade the memory but the cool part is that now it has a third slot inside of the SD card uh, slot meaning that you can have two SIM cards at the same time as well as the uh, upgraded memory up to 256 gigabytes you can have all three in one single tray so this is the first time that I see uh, this type of design ever on any phone now we have a massive 6.23 inch display with the FHD plus I think it's 2280 by uh, 1080 and it has to do because now we have the 19 by 9 uh, ratio on the screen so that's really really cool and I think the body to screen ratio is about 92% so it is almost all screen on the front side okay so again when it comes to design they really went above and beyond with this particular device now this is also my first time with the Helio P60 also known as the MTK 6771 processor it is an octa-core processor clocked at 2.0 gigahertz and it is very very similar to the Snapdragon 660 so it is a great performer the GPU is the Mali G72 it comes with the Android Oreo 8.0 or I'm sorry 8.1.0 so it is quite updated and also this one here comes with the color OS 5.0 so without further ado guys let's go ahead and slide this box open here okay and I already opened it of course and I went ahead and tested the camera which is the highlight of this particular device now on the website they are claiming that it has NFC maybe I haven't found the settings for this particular device but I don't see any NFC at all um, I checked the toggles, the quick toggles on the notification center, they're not there. I check on settings, they're not there. So yes, I think that was a little bit of a confusion right there, maybe on their behalf. So anyways, here we have the divider, and then inside here we have another compartment where we're going to find the case okay and it comes with a silicon case this is very much appreciated especially when the phone is not really supported here in the USA we have what I think uh, is a uh, quick start guide which nobody reads okay and that's all we have inside of this little um, divider here inside of the box then we got the Indian charger here so it is not supported here in the USA you have to get the adapter for it but it is definitely a fast charger here we have the specifications and hopefully you guys can see that right there so yes it is a very decent looking charger here and it's quite big as well then we have some earphones which I never tested but they seem to be of you know decent quality uh, next we got here the USB cable and by the way, this phone comes equipped with a USB Type-C. There we can see it, and that's all we have inside of the box. So, like always guys, let's go ahead and set everything aside and take a look at the phone itself. 
all right guys so here we are coming back to the oppo f7 and i have already removed here the protector that came from factory as well as the screen protector so that way we can get a better view of the display so on the front side here again we have the 6.23 inch display with a resolution of 2280 by 1080 that's because we have now a 19 by 9 ratio so it is a little bit bigger and also we have a notch on the very top here in the middle side very similar to the iphone 10 but it packs a 25 megapixel front facing camera with ai technology like i mentioned before we have the ear speaker and the sensors on the right side towards the bottom we have nothing but just a very small chin on the left hand side of the phone here we have the volume rockers up and down on the bottom here we have obviously on the left hand side is going to be the loudspeaker and then on the right hand side here we have the microphone as well as the micro usb port i made a little mistake before on the accessory side and i do apologize for that it is not the usb type c a little bit of a disappointment but i am glad that they kept the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack something that is vanishing on almost every single phone in 2018 so on the right side here we have nothing but the power key and also the sim tray but like i mentioned before the sim tray is not your typical one it carries the ability to install two sim cards and the sd card all together so before on chinese phones we had to where it was either two um, sim cards or one sd card and one sim card so now we have all three in one so this is definitely a plus for at least myself that sometimes i carry multiple carriers i have cricket and i have t-mobile so now i can test it with both at least with the oppo f7 so again a lot of great news with this particular device so far one of them is that we have the 3.5 minimum headphone jack and now that we also have the option to install all three in one on the top here we have the secondary microphone so then here on the back side of the phone we have the 16 megapixel camera here it doesn't have optical image stabilization and it doesn't have the ability to record in 4k so i guess that's a little bit of a downer on the camera side but the quality is still very nice we're going to be seeing that here in just a second so anyways we have there the led flash the fingerprint scanner now another little bad news about the oppo f7 is the fact that the back is made of plastic so it is um not as scratch resistant as on the front side since we have the Corning Gorilla Glass number five. So that's the good news for the front side, but for the back side, it's not such a great news. Now, keep in mind, guys, that well, plastic sometimes can be a little bit uh, convenient in the sense that if you do drop your device, you run the risk of not breaking the back so easily because plastic is a little bit more flexible, and for that reason, it doesn't break as easy. And then on the front side, well, the great news is that we had the Corning Gorilla Glass number five, which is a little bit better with uh, scratches. So. So with this being said guys let's go ahead and turn on the phone here and check out the color OS again it is version 5.0 and it comes with the Android Oreo 8.1.0 and yes it is very stable guys and it has been one of the best experiences that I've had on a budget phone. Keep in mind guys that a budget phone is anything from $400 below. Uh, some people say it's $500 and below. This one is close to the $500 mark but again it has been overpriced because of the fact that well eBay charges a whole bunch of fees first of all. They are including free DHL shipping. So I got it very quickly. DHL shipping can be that alone can be about $40 and for that reason they have to jack up the price but this phone should be if you get it maybe directly from the oppo website it should be around maybe 380 to 350 dollars so anyways here we have the screen and or the last screen okay something common here we don't have a lot of changes and of course i have set up already my um uh, fingerprint on here so let me go ahead and enter the password and by the way guys here you can view how nice the screen looks and by the way what I'm gonna do for now so that you can see it even better is open settings so that way we have that white background on here and you can see how the screen is almost edge to edge you only have basically a little small chin on the very bottom that's about it that's why the screen to body ratio is above 90 percent on this device it is absolutely gorgeous guys it's one of the best that i've seen right now we have the brightness at the max and here through the camera it kind of seems like it's a little dim but no when you see it in person it looks very nice and bright i guess it's just uh, an effect here from my camera but anyways guys uh, let's go ahead and check here the fingerprint so i'm going to go ahead and enter it you guys can see that it is almost immediate it doesn't delay whatsoever so this is again a plus 
and I'm doing it directly from the phone being asleep, you can see that it is almost instant. Okay, so on the fingerprint side, I am absolutely satisfied with this device. I mean, everything about it, guys. But now what really blew my mind, okay, and you have to believe me on this one. I know this may not be the most professional review out there or semi-review, but the camera is just mind-blowing. Let me go ahead and show you here. It has wide angle. So the back camera, I, I gotta say, well, first of all, it is typical, okay? Um, meaning that, well, it does have nice qualities, but not having optical image stabilization, you guys can see that just by moving the phone around, it looks a little bit jumpy, and, well, the colors are very accurate. I like the white balance on it. I think it's absolutely great. Now here, the UI looks also very similar to the iPhone. So you can see on the bottom here, we got photo mode, we got video mode, we have uh, time lapse, then on here, we got sticker, we have panorama, and also expert mode. Now here you can tweak it and change it to your likes if you wish to do so. So that's very, very cool, including the autofocus, the shutter speed, the ISO, um, and all these other great settings, the white balance and everything. You can do it manually directly from the settings. So again, this is a plus. And now here guys, when it comes to the front facing camera, you guys will immediately notice how the quality, it is just amazing. I mean, I'm talking about you can use the front facing camera as your main shooter and you're gonna get excellent quality, I would say a little bit better than the quality that you would get on the back side of the camera. I mean, this thing has amazing technology, guys. Remember that it is an AI camera, meaning that it is able to know what your face is, it is able to know what this item is, and for that reason, it's able to give you the best picture right off the back. You don't have to tweak it or do anything crazy on here in order to get that great photo or video. So again, um, it does have wide angle, and here you guys can see, and even on my selfie photo, you guys can also appreciate how nice the camera is. And again, this is one of the best cameras that I have seen on a budget phone, hands down. You really have to try it, and you would definitely agree with me, guys. Okay, and then here, we're gonna be checking out some other um, important information, like the benchmarks that I got here. So we have the Antutu benchmark. This one scored, at first I got 147,000, and then on my second test, I thought I was gonna get a better score, and I got actually 139,000, so it fluctuates a little bit. But anyways, this is a very good score. It's a little bit better than when I did it with the Snapdragon 660 processor on my previous devices. So this one is really competitive. And here we can see the information of the GPU is the G72. And there we can see the hardware is the uh, MTK6771 for the processor. So it is the P60 guys. And also we have, again, the memory confirmation on here. So everything has been confirmed and they are not lying on any particular um, specification we can see here that the screen comes with 421 ppi which is really decent as well and now the cool part guys about this device talking about the screen is that when we go to applications like uh, YouTube it has been optimized to work well with it so let's say I open one of my own videos here I'm gonna do it for copyright purposes as you guys know YouTube is very strict with that so let's say I open here the video for the let's try the latest one the real link so first of all you guys can hear how loud the speaker is but anyways when you place it on uh, landscape mode here you can actually zoom it in and it'll zoom to fill so there you can see it now it does cut a big portion of the video just pay attention here to the very top when i zoom it in you can see i lost uh, some of it but it is viewable and the cool part is that it is supporting that 18 by 9 ratio so this is very cool okay so at least on that part it has been very well optimized and now here i'm going to increase the volume so that way you guys can hear the quality of the loudspeaker on there and in this case we're going to be using the connected Wi-Fi and then we have finally the last option here says access camera and then it, it does explain exactly what it is basically you are just accessing it as you need it um, by all right guys so there we heard the quality of the loudspeaker and you guys cannot deny the fact that it is absolutely mind-blowing in my personal experience guys and and trust me I test these devices all the time I am getting better quality at least on the loudspeaker from the bottom side than I do with my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus so at least the loudspeaker is very competitive out there and also guys going back here to the benchmarks I do apologize for the confusion I'm jumping here from different subjects really quickly but anyways um, I forgot to mention the score that I got here for Geekbench 4 and it was 1517 for the single core and almost 6000 for the multi core so this is again a very decent score and here we can see again the Android Oreo 8.1.0 so that's absolutely great now when it came here to the battery guys 
you won't believe that I've been using this device now for the past four days and it has been without the SIM card mainly. I've been doing a lot of Wi-Fi search. I've been doing um, you know, a lot of videos, a lot of uh, benchmarks, and I haven't had to charge it in about four days. But it hasn't been constant usage. It has been mainly, again, uh, doing the benchmarks, uh, checking out videos, um, you know, checking out the camera. I did install the SIM card, I think one or two times, just to check out the quality of the calls. And again, it was absolutely great. The ear speed here has tremendous quality for being such a small little ear speaker but yes it still has over 50% as you guys can tell right there I haven't had to charge it as a matter of fact this here if you guys look at it closely it hasn't even been used so when it comes to the battery it is very very good it has been well optimized and again this is another plus for the Oppo F7 so this is again one of the best looking phones of 2018 so far guys when it comes here to the display it is absolutely great it has a notch on the top but they actually have made it a little bit smaller than what you will see on the iPhone 10 and in my opinion guys I think it looks absolutely incredible so here from a settings we have some uh, cool features like smart and convenient where you can change the um, location of the navigation keys as you can tell you can also have them to where they are gestures so if you swipe from the bottom to the top it'll go to home this is going to be your task killer and that's going to be your back key so again um, you can do either or you know if you don't like to have these at the bottom you can go ahead and do the swipe um, option and then also you can hide them so if you enable this right here you have that little arrow on the bottom left or if you click it it'll disappear and then to bring it back you just swipe up and all of them are available for you so you have different options when it comes to that uh, then you have assisted ball okay something similar to what we have seen on the um, iPhone 10 or the iPhones it is called assisted touch so it is a little bit different but it looks very very similar there we can see it and you can change the settings on how you want it to look uh, right now I have it to where the uh, transparency is almost at minimum so you can see it doesn't really get on the way of anything and yes it has that feature as well it comes with the uh, full screen multitasking as well it has gestures and motions and a whole bunch of other great features so right now I enabled the uh, multitasking so all I have to do is let's say I have an application open let's say Geekbench 4 and I want to open another application I just swipe up with three fingers and now you guys can see that I can open um, you know another screen or you know split the screen to open another application and use it at the same time so anyways with this being said if you guys have any questions just comment below let me know what you think about the quality of this particular camera on the comment section below as well i would really appreciate it thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on my next one